Every year, 4 million people visit Acadia National Park. Most of those visits happen in the summer. To meet the demand, the park and its partner organizations need hundreds of seasonal employees. A lot of people there, but the housing crisis has made finding a place to live for those workers nearly impossible. News Center Maine's Christian Harsa spoke to park leadership about how they're working to fix the problem. I reached out to an apartment complex in the area and they had a year long wait list. Eli Shahan is a summit steward with Friends of Acadia. Shahan is one of 300 seasonal workers helping keep that organization, Acadia National Park, and the Island Explorer bus system running during the peak summer season. But right now, there are just 100 beds available for them, and the situation outside the park is even worse. It is impossible for a seasonal employee to find a place to live for the six months of their summer season when they're working here. And so if we don't provide housing for them, they won't be able to take a job at Acadia National Park. That is why Friends of Acadia is undertaking a new campaign to fundraise two and a half million dollars to meet a $10 million goal. Reaching this threshold will unlock an additional $10 million or more from the federal government to create workforce housing. To build two units at the National Park. At Hardin Farm, we have 56 beds and at Dane Farm, an additional eight beds. This gets the park halfway to its goal of 130 new beds, seasonal homes that park leaders hope will make an impact for decades. This is a hundred year gift that is really going to be enabling the next generation of great leaders. For those beginning a career in wildlife and natural resources studies and management, seasonal work is often the starting place. And without accessible housing, these positions are unattainable. I would not have been able to make it out here to Maine without that housing. It turned this job from a maybe, maybe, maybe I can make this work to an absolutely yes, I get to do this amazing opportunity. Housing is also a concern for parents visiting the park and thinking ahead for their own children. How do you get housing? How easy it is it to get housing? Where, like, what kind of housing are you living in? Um, is pretty much the first or second question in every person's mind. For the 56 bed project at Hardin Farm, the planning process is still underway. But Friends of Acadia estimate the construction at Dane Farm will be complete in October. In Acadia National Park, Christian Harsa, News Center, Maine.